Spurge here, and in this video, we are going to break down the Revit Echelon GTX pans. GTX stands for Gore-Tex. These are going to be a waterproof two-layer Gore-Tex shell that is going to be aimed at adventure riders out there riding both on and off-road. Now, if you're looking at Revit's line and you're trying to figure out exactly where this is going to fall in, if you want to take a parallel step, you'd be looking at the Poseidon pants. That is a little bit more on-road focus, so you really have no intention of riding your large adventure bike off-road. That's where you'd be looking at the Poseidon. Um, these, again, are going to be for those of you looking at riding both on and getting some, some light off-road use out there. And then if you want to take a step down, you'd be looking at the Sand 4. The Sand 4 is an extremely popular option, but that's not Gore-Tex. That's different waterproof layers underneath the pant, but not going to have a Gore-Tex shell. So really the beauty of the Gore-Tex shell is you get a little bit more comfort versus having to wear extra liners either inside or outside of the pants to give you that waterproof protection. Now, Mr. McHugh on my left-hand side stands at six feet tall, has a 39 inch waist measurement, typically wears a 34 inch inseam pant. He is currently wearing these in a large. If he was using Revit's size chart, he would be in an extra large, but he finds that the large fits him perfectly fine. So if you are looking at the size chart and you're between sizes, or you know that you typically like to run you know, something a little bit more svelte, uh, you would size down from what the size chart recommends for the pants. Sizes will range from a small up to a 4XL. Only color available is the color you're gonna see Pat wearing right now on my left hand side. Starting with the top, working our way through the couple different materials to note here, it is that two layer Gore-Tex shell throughout. There's also PWR ripstop stretch material working its way into key materials like around the knee and the seat. When we're talking about PWR, PWR is a proprietary material for Revit that they've designed, but then when you're talking about ripstop, ripstop is a technology that once you do get a snag or a tear, it doesn't continue. This means that if you do get a snag or a tear in your impact zones like your knee or your seat, you don't have to throw the garment away because that tear will not continue unless you get into another crash and then maybe at that point it, it pulls a little bit more. But as far as just wearing it in everyday use, ripstop stops the snag from spreading into something more major. Now, when we're looking at the denier count we're talking about here, it is 400D material in the knees as well as the bottom below the yoke. And then it is 200D in the front thigh area. Again, matching the impact abrasion resistance where you need it and comfort to maximize how the pant feels whilst you are wearing it. Now, from an impact protection standpoint, CE level two protection at the knee, this is their C-Flex armor, gonna be very comfortable to wear, gonna be very breathable, and it is still giving you CE level protection. CE one protection with their C-Smart armor is at the hips, and the pants overall are rated at CE double A. Starting with the top, you do have a belt loop, you have Velcro adjusters. Pat has these cinched down a little bit, despite the fact that he is wearing these in a large connection zip. If you wanna wear this with the matching Echelon jacket, we did a separate review on that. You can check out that review as well if you're not sure or not familiar. Dual hand warmer pockets slash down inside. These are zip entry. You do have vents at the thigh to allow for airflow through. Pops are reflective on the side. Actually, Pat, go ahead and strike the uh, sideways position for me. Pops are reflective on the side. You are gonna get a calf adjuster on this and then four different areas of Velcro to fine tune how these fit over top of your adventure boots. Pops are reflective here and then exhaust vents at the back. So you get that airflow throw, flowing through on this and those are direct vents underneath the Gore-Tex shell. So you can go ahead and face backwards for me. So you have not only the long connection zipper, which will zip not only with the Echelon jacket, but other adventure jackets within Revit's line. And then you also have the short connection zipper as well. The nice thing about this is that it does include the top half of the zipper. So if you need to match these pants with a different jacket, you get the top part of the zipper for both the long and the short that you can sew into an existing jacket if that's your preference. As you work your way down, one of the things you'll note on the inside of the thigh, there are gripper panels in there. One of the things that you, you know, have a concern with with Gore-Tex is whether or not you're sliding around your seat. So the little gripper panels help to reduce that. Sir, you can go ahead and face forward for me. So for those of you out there in the adventure ADV world, you are riding your bike on the street, but you also like to dabble off road from time to time. You wanna check out the Revit Echelon Gore-Tex pants within their line. So really what we've seen from Revit 
in closing here is they've moved more and more into the Gore-Tex shell design that we've seen from some other manufacturers. Frankly, I think the whole bring your own base layer aspect of adventure riding really makes a lot of sense. If you are someone that runs hot, you can just wear these pants over top of your underpants. Um, if you are someone that is riding, you know, four seasons and you are riding in the dead of the winter, you can wear some base layers underneath this and it's still going to be comfortable for you. But that waterproofing is baked into the shell. So just keep that in mind. The only downside there is if you tend to run really hot in the summertime, wearing a, four, a full Gore-Tex shell whilst riding off-road tends to be a little hot. Just something to consider. There are other options in Revit's line that might be more appropriate for you if you are riding hardcore off-road, especially in the warmer months of the year. Now, if you're not sure as to whether or not the uh, Echelon pants are right for you, you can always click the little info button on your desktop or mobile device and you can read other rider reviews. You can read all the detailed information on the product page. And if you're still not sure, you can always reach out to one of our customer service reps. They can walk you through all the different riding gear available to make sure that you find the right riding pants to match your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this first look at the Revit Echelon Gore-Tex pants. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>